What is good people and thanks for joining me on the Motor Machines channel. In today's episode I think I'm going to ruffle a few feathers, the minority is going to feel offended, there's going to be a few keyboard commandos out and I'm probably going to get a little bit of abuse but the majority of people I believe will agree with me and that is how to change gear once you're slightly more experienced on a dirt bike. But we're talking about the pit bike today. But they're all the same sort of thing. First of all then I want to say that I'd probably only use my clutch whilst going up gears, I don't know, 30% of the time. The rest of that, I'm not using the clutch to shift up. However, I do use the clutch to shift down. I know quite a few people don't. I will do it if I have to, you know, if you're in a tight, sticky situation and you don't want to quickly lose control of the bars, so you knock it down a few gears. But I tend not to do that. Another thing, I've never had a gearbox problem on all my other bikes. This one had one, well, it gained one after about 10 hours. But that was a problem with these engines and it's all been sorted now and I've not had a problem since. So in all my cars, motorbikes, I've never had a gearbox problem and I've never had to change a clutch. So today I just want to show you how I change gear on my pit bike. Another reason why I'm doing this is because quite often I'll get comments saying, oh you're not using the clutch, that's why you broke that gearbox or you've got to learn to use that clutch you're going to have problems well I've been riding motorbikes now for probably 25 years at least everything that I'm going to be talking about then is all from experience and I've just explained that I've had no problems and this is how I change gear and I don't like people keep telling me that I should be using the clutch all the time because the majority of people will disagree with that. You don't use a clutch. You just, you just don't use a clutch. If you can change gear right at the right revs, you don't need that clutch. And I'm not going to listen to someone telling me any different. I actually had someone once from Stomp or WPB telling me I should use a clutch because I'll wear out the gearbox. And I've had 70 plus hours on bikes and never had a problem. And I only really speak about things that I'm confident about speaking about. Right then, if any of that sounds of interest to you, then stick around because I'll be back very shortly. Now we've got the bike running. To put it in first, I do use the clutch for obvious reasons. So, we get it into first. Once you get it quite high up in the revs and put a bit of pressure on the shifter, it will just change. But as I'm going slow like this, I use my clutch. If I build up speed, no clutch. And there is no strain on any of the engine parts whatsoever. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. But if you shift wrong without the clutch, yeah, you are going to cause damage. That's why I said for the more experienced rider. You can do it if you can do it quite slow. Um, just get the revs up a bit, back off the revs. There, easy. I'll show you that again, but I might have forgot to mention that when you're applying a bit of pressure to that shifter when you're going up in the revs and then you quickly black off for a split second, it sort of just slots into gear. hard to explain, it just takes a bit of practice. But trust me, once you get used to it, you'll be so glad you do it. See that? No clutch. I can do it down gears, but like I said, I, I tend not to. See, now I'm going slow, I can't change gear. But we get along to this straight and I'll take it up a gear or 
to without clutch. It's just yeah. I'm not sure what gear I'm in now. Probably am in top gear. No, there you go. Also, it's a lot safer than having to like take a finger or two off the grips, especially if you're in a fast situation or it's a bit tricky, a bit tight. You want maximum grip, if you know what I mean. Do you know what? I've never heard of people putting it into first without a clutch. But I'm sure there'll be some nutter out there who just gives it some revs so it doesn't stall out and just taps it into first. Pops a bit of a wheelie, but soon gets it under control. However, that's not my style. I do like to look after my engines. I wouldn't do this if I thought it was abusing it. This is the sort of time where I do use a clutch. It's a bit bumpy, I want to be smooth, have a little bit of finesse, and we're just popping in. And I'm not going up in the revs so much, so I tend to use my favour the clutch. Hopefully that clearly demonstrates how I change gear on my pit bike and always have. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts, opinions and experiences on the matter. Or how you change gear. As always, leave your comments below. And like usual, I'm going to thank you, especially as you got this far. I really appreciate that support and thanks for tuning in to the Motor Machines channel today.